locks. The locks were interesting, don't you think? Yeah, they were. Todd hasn't been through any locks on the ICW, so it's something that I understand, and we won't have that option for a lot of what we're going to do. Right. <laughs> but we do have that option right now, so we're gonna come down here, and actually, we're headed down to the Matagorda Beach. So right along here is the Colorado River, where it empties out. We're coming up to where it empties out on the Gulf Coast. are taking out the old copper propane pipe and getting ready to install the new stuff because all the wires have to go around along the same channel. Todd wants to get it in there before we start trying to put the wires in. So let's do this. Okay, that's like a short part that we cut. Now let's go see what else he needs. Do you see any dripping bolts up inside the tow rail on the cupboards right there? Uh, why? Are we having water somewhere? I, I just had one over here dripping and I thought you'd look and see if yours are. I don't see any water. Uh, we don't have any water in here. No? No. Did you get it out? No. I was going to pull a bolt off and put some butyl on it because I got a couple drips and I want to get them covered before I bury it with stuff. So we're not pulling the propane tank well, propane yeah, we'll thing out. That. We can pull it out. You can pull right now. Go see what happens if you pull. It should come right out. If I, if I push it out of the tank, can you bend it down into here? I have no idea. It's got a pretty big end on it. vacuum and see if we can suck this. Well, why don't we just try and stick a pipe clean? Because I don't want to jam the dirt down in. I want to try to suck it out of the hose first. Now, before you jump into the comments to warn us about that hole in the locker, it has a panel that we will ensure is airtight, and we will be putting an airtight seal around the hose opening to ensure no propane gets in our bilge. I can't get it to come anymore. I just needed to be stronger. All right. Now the hard part. Well, theoretically, the hard part, I don't know. Did he leave you hanging? He left me hanging. I have no idea what the hard part is. So I guess we'll wait and see. What are you doing? I'm trying to see if I can. I'm going to scratch the wood. Okay. Skin to me. I'll try to work it through the corners. 
Okay. So now the question is, do we want to try to put a fitting or that in? Okay, can you tell us what we're doing? We're running a PVC conduit to run the, the propane hose inside. To keep it from chafing? Yes. We have all the bolts that hold the tow rail on and deck fittings and all that that will actually be chafing against the rubber hose. And so I'm, I'm putting in a PVC chase to make it a nice little home for that propane pipe to hide. All right, so we're ready to grab that. I'm gonna go ahead and push this through further and get in where I can get like in the engine room to fit it and it'll be more straight here and won't have any problems. Okay. Right? Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna put some glue on it. When I tell you to, I want you to gently push it in with the twisting motion. I'll guide it where the hole is. But you're gonna have to push it in, twist it a little bit until it stops and then we'll let it set up. Okay, so I've already got it frying. So let me get a little bit of glue. Um, okay, push. Whoa, whoa, back up. Okay, push. There you go. All right. That's good. Stop. It almost like just goes right to where we need it to go. Yeah, I know. Looks like I have a piece of fiberglass up under my fingernail. Ouch. It doesn't feel good. Look at that. Perfect fit. All right, we got it. Yay! Now what it's do we through. do? Well, now we got to hook it up to the appliance. But before that, I noticed a couple other bolts that are have loose washers. I need to get tightened up before I forget where they are. Okay. So I got to find a wrench. That dinghy got pumped out already about two hours ago. And look at this. Okay, well, we are still flooding here in Rockport, Texas. It's kind of crazy. It's rained all night. We had some crazy wind. We're on our way over to the boat to check on it some work if possible um, but we also need to just check and make sure the lines aren't too tight as the water has continued to rise and we don't have floating docks so yeah nuts. the bank is closed and we're using the covered area to move some tools into the back of the truck so that they don't get quite so wet and a lot of water Oh, water is lapping at the dock. <laughs> the lines are okay. Alright, we have three lines. One, two, and three. Here. The line there. This line. This spring line is short, but we don't have anywhere to take it to. We lengthen this spring line to there. And then we've got a spring line, or a line on the back. Hey, okay, it has been a couple of weeks since we were working on this project. And remember Todd found some bolts that were leaking and we had to do that. And then we realized that we were just going to put some bolt, more bolts in there when we put the stanchions in. We, so we decided that needed to be done first. So we actually had to pull this all apart and we're putting it back together and gonna test it today. Let's see how this goes. All right, can you hear me? Yep. All right. So I am pushing it in. Try not to get it twisted or weird. Right. Oh. 
seems to be going in pretty smooth. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not a problem, it's just awkward. Okay, I got it. You got it? Okay. Yep. There's and a real, there's a whole huge line here still. Yeah. Right. Yep. Okay, that wasn't too hard, but we have all of this extra. I don't, I don't know why. I know that Todd was worried about not having enough. So I, we can't cut it because these are special ends. I don't know. We got a little bit of rain happening, so we just want to make sure if it rains too much, we shut the hatches. All right. Hi, puppy. Hi. You want to come inside? No. <laughs> All right, so why is this so long? I don't know, I had to guess guess how long to make it. I'd rather have it, you know, a couple feet too long than not long enough. Now we gotta figure out how to hook it up to the stove. So there is a little hole, but I think it's supposed to go down through right here. Yep. So you're figuring it out? Hi. They were taking it and putting it around like that. So it, the strings got too long. Okay. So what are you making? Making shell bracelets. Fun. Somebody's hiding behind me. What have you been up to today, Abigail? Caught a fish. <gasps> Did you catch a fish? Did you catch another one? No. No, but it's raining. I think Abigail is going to be our resident fisherwoman, catching us all the food we need as we're out to sea. All right, how's it coming? Kind of a one-man job over there. Oh, I need to pick that up. You hand me the wrench it's on my right side. Aha! Uh -huh. Open end wrench. Okay, that is on. It's hooked up. It's hooked up. As long as it doesn't leak, we're good. Should I get the sniffer out? Yeah, I think we should get the sniffer out. Because we really don't know anything about this stove. Nope. And I can't tell because the arrows are worn off on the front, which is high and which is off. And there's no temperature gauge on the oven though. It's it's you know about Seven o'clock is the temperature you want. Where is the sniffer? I think that it might be behind here. All right, this handheld combustible gas detector. Got batteries. This right with this thing. This is so sensitive. You will never again have any question in your mind as to who actually farted. <laughs> Does it have batteries? Probably not. Three double A's. Do we have three double A's laying around here in the boat somewhere? I don't think so. Daddy. Buddy. What? Hey, don't don't wind it up with all the line around it. Apparently I'm gonna have to stop this project and go deal with a fishing project. That How about if I turn over looking for batteries to you? Alright. We've got to get it untangled. And see how the hole is flat on the sides? So that has to line up like that. So now it's on. Want well, me to go get a fishing thingy? Yep, we need a swivel probably. One way or another. Nee, 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 right, nee. There are no AA batteries around here. Ow. Dad, I'm too tall for this. Well, let's get the saw. We'll cut your legs off. Make them shorter. Not funny. Okay. Already here. That one's ready to go. All right, we gotta go buy some batteries. Where do we test it? Inside, outside, upside down? Fart. Somebody fart. Right. Abigail? You are not. <laughs> I think we have gas. <laughs> so where did this 
hose come from? Because this is not the hose we're going to use, is it? No, it is not. It came off our barbecuer. We stole our barbecuer hose to test this. This is not the true system that you should have on a boat. There is no solenoid here. So we have to be extra careful. We don't want to light any matches while we're doing this test, right? <laughs> Now it smells it. Look at that. Okay, I asked you not to do that. So, we know it works. I'll come back. Okay. All right. And is this tight? Yep. So now we have to turn it on and go downstairs and see if there's any leaking at the stove. All right, this is a scary part and he's making me be inside. Okay. I don't know. Am I smelling in the right place? Yeah, probably. It's not leaking out of the joint right there. Yeah. So, let's see if we get anything out of this. I think there'd be gas here by now. There we go. Okay, so we need a lighter. Butane torch. I have butane torches. I don't actually have a lighter. Pretty dirty. It's lighting. I'm going to say the stove works. Okay, what about the oven? Let me take the time to light the oven. Yeah, I actually want to know if the oven works. <sighs> well, at least we have. I don't know that I've ever looked in here. I haven't. Something's lighting. There we go. It's trying to light the upper section. There it goes. There it goes. Look. Needs to be cleaned. Yep. All right. Let me go turn it off. Yep. And let that burn out. Okay. So the idea is that you turn off the propane outside, and you let the all the propane burn out of the line. Awesome. I'm not sure if that just went out or if what happened. I'm not sure if that it was out before you turned it off. So I think it's fine. So we're sure it's not leaking because this isn't smelling or right. anything. Yep. Okay. All right. We have a stove. Yay. And as much as we would really like to like do induction and all electric and all that. I'm not ready for that yet. We own this. That's right. <laughs> We own it. <laughs> we own it, so we're going to use it. Right? Everybody's going to lithium right now, but we've got brand new AGM batteries. They're three years old. <laughs> we haven't used we haven't them. We've used them. We've kept them charged. Oh, I wanted to see if that worked. What? Nothing. Sorry. <laughs> what? I farted. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Dad. What? We could jump off the boat for the ending.